Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another cleaning marathon. Y'all have been asking me lately when I'm going to be sharing another one of these and today I have got you covered. I have compiled several of my recent favorite cleaning videos so you can go ahead and just clean along with me today. And if you are new to what a cleaning marathon is, it's something that I started sharing about a year ago where I basically just take several of my past cleaning videos, I compile them all into one video and then you are able to go ahead and just put this up on your TV or your tablet or your phone and just go ahead and clean right along with me. That way you don't have to go back and forth between videos or worry about clicking onto new ones. You just turn this on and let it go and you have a friend to clean with for the entire time. So without further ado, let's get to it. I can feel my body, your cold against the concrete, but I can't seem to get enough. My mind is fixed on what it wants. I just let you beat me, look can be deceiving. Let you get the best of me, in bed with my worst enemy. This is a no-go, I just can take cold. This is a danger zone, back up and get me home. This is a no-go, I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing a complete disaster clean with me. I know that these are some of the most motivating cleaning videos. So when I looked around at my house and I realized how dirty it had gotten, I was like, I have to go ahead and clean this for you guys and share it because this is way too much motivation to let go to waste. So on this day, I actually was starting out in my laundry room. As you saw, I have a ton of laundry to get through and so I wanted to start that cycle out just because that's something that I can start now and it can work while I'm working on something else. So if you watch my videos very often, you know that 95% of the time I will start out in my kitchen. I feel like that is just my domino chore. And what I mean by domino chore, if you guys are OGs here, you guys know what I'm talking about. But I talk about domino chores as in the chore that you start out with that really just kind of motivates you to continue on. And for me, that is my kitchen. I will do my kitchen and then after I'm doing my kitchen, I'm like, I might as well go into the living room and then I might as well go into my bedroom and it just keeps on like that. And another domino chore for me is also making my bed in the morning. Again, 95% of the time, I will make my bed first thing when I wake up. On this day, you will see I didn't do that. I knew that I was going to be filming this video, so I figured that I would just go ahead and share that motivation with you guys as well. So on this day, I just woke up, I got ready, and then I started filming. But this video actually took me several hours. I think I was filming from about noon to seven, and then a little bit after that even. And I didn't film 100% of the time. I am a mom, and so I did have to stop and help the kids and everything and play with them for a little bit and get dinner and things like that. However, this seriously did take me so, so long because it was just so messy. But in the end, it was 100% worth it because our house felt so nice and clean, and it just was something that we really, really needed. So this was actually after the day my brother and his family left, my sister and her family were also in town for a little while, and since we don't live really close and we don't get this opportunity to hang out very often, I kind of let cleaning go to the wayside. I also had the big project of going through my closet the day before, so as you can see there was just so much going on in our house, I really needed to go ahead and handle this situation and get it taken under control. Moving into our main living space, I just wanted to go ahead and open up the windows. Here in Utah, there are still some cool days, but most of the time, I feel like we are having a lot of window days and days where we can just keep those windows open and get some fresh air in the house. And that is something that brings me so much joy. Let me know what the weather is like where you're at. Is it cold there? Is it really hot? I always love hearing what it's like where you're at right now. Once I had some fresh air starting to flow into the house, I just went into the kitchen and started clearing off all of the countertops. So I did the same thing in my dining room as well. This is something that I like to start with. I feel like the first thing I need to do is just clear everything off the countertop so I start to see that difference right away and that really motivates me to continue on in my kitchen. the 
I don't know what it is, but I feel like every time I go to do my dishes, I'm like, all right, it's time to get this hair up out of my face so I can really get stuff done. But as you can see, next I am just loading up our dishwasher. I won't be running it yet. I usually run it in the evening, but I do like to load it up throughout the day and that way I never feel like I have so many dishes. I definitely did have a lot more dishes in my sink than I usually do. I will usually try and stay a little bit more on top of that, but life happens and sometimes that's just what you get. So I'm going to go ahead and tackle this now and then once the dishwasher is all loaded up, I will just finish by hand washing the rest of my dishes like my pots and pans and my knives and things like that. Next, I'm also going to be cleaning out my dish station. I feel like I talk about this all the time in like, not every single video, but a lot of them and I still get so many questions about it. So that's the reason that I do talk about it still because I still get so many questions. So when I do talk about my dish station, it consists of the Grove Collaborative Stoneware Tray. I also have the Bubble Up Dish Brush and the Bubble Up Sponge Dish. And these are some of my must haves in the kitchen. They just make cleaning the dishes so much easier and they also look really nice in here. So those are just a few of the reasons why I love these products so much. I do get all these items from Grove Collaborative. If you are unfamiliar with them, they are an online company and they ship more natural products right to your door they have cleaning personal items all the things and if you haven't ordered through them before and you are interested check out the link down below and you can go ahead and get some free products with your first order Okay, so this is one of the things that I was talking about. A lot of times I won't film this part just because it's not cleaning, but I decided to go ahead and just film this little section and just show you guys that while I'm doing a cleaning video and that's all you see me doing, that is not the whole picture to the story. There are lots of times where I have to pause what I'm doing and help somebody with something or do something else or even sometimes leave my house and go run errands. So I just wanted to include this part because I know sometimes people ask, oh my gosh how are you a mom and how are you able to just clean for hours and have no distractions or anything and that is a hundred percent not the case there are tons of times where i'm cleaning and i'm filming and just pause the camera and take care of what i need to do and then start filming again later and that is just the power of editing <laughs>
Once things were pretty much clean in the kitchen, minus being wiped down, I went ahead and just cut down our fresh flowers and got them put in this vase. So I hope that you guys can tell on the screen, but these flowers are actually green. They are carnations, which are my absolute favorite flowers ever. But when I saw these at the store, I thought, okay, First of all, they're very different. I have never ever seen a green carnation before, I don't think, at least not in this color. And I was a little bit unsure of it, but I decided to go with it and I still feel like I can't decide if I actually like them or if I'm not a big fan. Let me know in the comments. Do you guys like these flowers? Do you think they're really pretty? Or is this color a little bit off for you too? The next thing on the list is to wipe down my counters, so I am just using the Method All-Purpose Spray, and this one is in Lime and Sea Salt. This is one of my very, very favorite scents. Of course, you guys know that I'm obsessed with the Caldrea Sea Salt Neroli. That will always be my all-time favorite scent. It is just the best. However, that one is a bit pricier, and so I don't use that all the time. A lot of times, I will just use something a little bit more affordable. And that is where this method comes in. Like I said, this is one of my favorites. It just smells so fresh and so bright. So if you have not tried out this scent, I highly suggest you try it out. The method products are amazing. And I think that you guys would really love this one. And honestly, I feel like the method scents, there's really not many that I have tried that I don't love. They have a clementine that's amazing. They have grapefruit. They have a they have an apple one. I mean, if you love the citrus scents and the fruity scents like I do, you guys have to try the Method products. They are amazing. Once the kitchen was all clean and looking really nice, I decided to go into our living room. And of course, I had some laundry waiting for me. So I just went ahead and started folding all of these towels and all of the sheets and getting them all put away. Most of the time, I'll go into the bedrooms of where the clothes belong and then I'll put them away that way. But for some reason, I usually end up folding our towels and our sheets on our couch. I know a lot of you guys have asked me why I put clothes away in the rooms or why I don't just fold everything out on the couch because I guess a lot of people do that, but that is just what's worked for me. So let me know, do you guys fold all of your clothes in one space in your house or do you tend to do it like I do and usually put the clothes away in the rooms where they belong? So for example, I will always help my boys fold their clothes and put them away in their own bedrooms and my clothes I will always sort through in my own bedroom as well. Your 
Next, I just wanted to take care of the floors, so I'm using my Dyson VA Absolute, and I am just starting to vacuum everything up. And here is another real life moment for you guys. I feel like sometimes homes look really clean on picture or on video just because you're not up close and personal with things. And so when you're looking at it from far away, it really does appear to be very clean. So I wanted to get real with you guys and show you that when I am vacuuming my floors, this is usually what it looks like. And I do try and vacuum them every single day. I don't know what it is, but we always have crumbs and dirt and everything on our floor. It just, I don't know, I'm guessing it's just living in a house full of boys. That kind of comes with the territory. But just so you don't feel like, oh my gosh, I wonder how her floors stay so clean. She looks, she's vacuuming a clean floor. My floors always look dirty. My floors always have crumbs all over them. Here is the real deal. My floors are so dirty too, so you are not alone in that. Next, I just pulled out my steam mop to go ahead and mop my floors. If you've been with me for a really long time, you know that I used to exclusively use my steam mop. That was the only mop I had for years. And then several months ago, I ended up getting the e-cloth spray mop. And now you probably don't see me use my steam mop very often. And that is just because my spray mop honestly works so well and it's just so convenient. As you can see, I'm still having to deal with the cord. I would still recommend the steam mop because I do think it works really well, but there is something about the cord that does kind of drive me nuts and just always feeling like tied down to a cord. So for that reason, I do tend to use my e-cloth mop a lot more, but every so often I will still pull my steam mop out just because I feel like it gets my floors so incredibly clean.
Moving upstairs, this room was a tornado. All the sheets had been taken off the bed and washed because like I said, our family was here. So I wanted to have clean sheets again and just wash them after people had been staying here. And we had, let me count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We had eight kids in our house last week. So this room got a lot, a lot, a lot of action. It was always busy and the kids are always pulling out toys. So that's why I decided to go ahead and help them. Plus I feel like when I send my kids in with so many toys out, they just feel so overwhelmed. So it's a lot nicer and it's a lot easier if I can go in here sometimes on those days and just kind of help them pick things up a little bit. They are still doing the work and they're still being responsible for cleaning up those toys, but I am just helping them out and kind of helping guide them through this process. Luke is such a big helper and while I was making the bed, he asked if he could go get the vacuum. So he just grabbed our older Dyson that we always keep upstairs and usually that's what I will end up using upstairs to just vacuum up here just because it's so convenient that it's already up here. So he just went ahead and started vacuuming the guest room slash playroom. Yeah, you look perfect, you're my type. Sweet and you care about my night. But I'm sobering up in this moment's past Oh yeah, I don't wanna be tucked in someone else's arms Cause my heart just broke and I need my time Wanna speak so loud even though I hide Like I'm hypnotized, can't get out of As you can see, it is now dark out and this is what I was talking about earlier too where I might start filming earlier in the day and I don't finish until late at night and that's not because it took me seven hours to film this but because real life happened and I had to be attentive to my kids and I had to hang out with them and help them with things. So I'm just now getting around to cleaning up my room 
which if you remember in the beginning of this video when I showed you that before, my room is trashed. It's probably like one of the messiest rooms in the house and that's mostly because I was cleaning out my closet earlier in the week. If you haven't seen my closet declutter and organize video, I will link that up here for you guys in an iCard. It was super motivating and there were lots of behind the scenes. You guys absolutely love that video, but that is a big reason of why my room was so, so messy. So the first thing that I'm doing in here is just changing out my bedding. This was a Monday that I filmed this and Mondays are usually the day that I go ahead and change my bedding out. I've actually been debating doing this on Saturdays just because I feel like that might be a better day and a lot of times you might have a cleaning schedule or a schedule of some kind that works really good for you but just like life it is always changing and you need to adapt it and change it along with you so I think that I'm going to start changing around my cleaning schedule one more time and then once I master what that's going to be I will definitely share that with you guys because I do get a lot of questions on how I clean our house weekly. All right, I wanted to show an up close of this. One of you guys actually shared this with me recently and I felt like it was just the most brilliant thing. It's just an easy way to go ahead and put pillowcases on your pillows if you ever struggle with that. So what you're gonna do is actually turn your pillowcase inside out and then you put your hands back in the pillow and grab the corners of the pillow and then you put your hands back in the pillowcase and grab the corners of the pillow and then you basically just slip it back onto the pillow and it made it so, so incredibly easy. So if you were the one who told me that, I really appreciate that little tip. That was amazing. Next, I'm just tidying up my floor. Like I said, I had a ton of stuff all over the place. This was a lot because I redid my closet, but at the same time, I feel like once one part of your house gets dirty, the rest of it just kind of falls into place and it just looks terrible. It just looks crazy. So when our house is clean, I always try to keep it clean for as long as possible because I feel like as soon as it starts to slip, it just slips really far and really fast. And every room in the house just ends up looking crazy all at once. So these items that you're seeing me carry out of my room right now are actually part of my summer decor. Some are things that I've had and some are things that are new purchases, but I will be sharing that video with you guys next week and I'm so excited. I actually just filmed it and everything turned out so pretty. I'm so incredibly excited for you guys to see how it looks. Then I felt like it would be very fitting to go ahead and start this video with laundry, have some laundry in the middle and end it with laundry because is that not our life where we are just doing laundry all the time? I feel like even when you're caught up on laundry, you're still not caught up. Like I will feel like, yes, I have all the loads of laundry done and then I look and there is more laundry in somebody's hamper somewhere. I feel like this is just the biggest never ending battle, but we have got to keep at it because I don't know about you guys, but when I fall behind on laundry, I just feel like I am so behind on so many things. So I really do try to keep up on laundry. I have shared my laundry routine with you guys before, so I will also leave that one up in an iCard so that you can watch that if you haven't seen it. But I feel like overall, our laundry routine is very easy and it keeps it just kind of like a daily thing, but not something that really takes over your day. So I think that's definitely a good one to watch if you haven't yet. Then said 
Okay, so it's hard to believe I have been at this for hours and hours and hours, but I'm finally at the last step of my whole house being cleaned, minus my boys room and the bathrooms. I didn't really touch those, but those actually didn't really need it too much. So here I am just vacuuming my floor and there's something about having a floor vacuumed or a floor swept or mopped and it just makes the whole room feel so much cleaner. That is just like the cherry on top for me. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this disaster clean with me. I hope this gave you so, so much clean motivation to tackle whatever space in your home that you need. Maybe you're like me and you need to tackle your entire house or maybe you just need to focus on one room, but whatever the case is, I hope that this gave you the cleaning motivation to get that done. And I also hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. A lot of times these cleaning videos are just amazing to put on the TV while you're cleaning and you kind of have a friend to clean with. So I love that aspect too. But I hope you guys have an amazing day. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already. And also head over to Instagram and follow me over there. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing an ultimate, super satisfying clean with me. I know you guys love these cleaning videos and it's so satisfying to see some really dirty areas of my house that I go ahead and show you and get cleaned up. So I'm going to be doing that today and I'm going to be cleaning up my main living area. So it's our kitchen, dining room, and living room. My brother and his family is actually coming to visit us so I want to make sure that the house is looking really nice for them and I just needed to pay attention to a few extra areas in our house that had just gotten a little bit out of hand the last few weeks. So I hope that this video will give you guys some amazing cleaning motivation. And I'm also starting to plan out my summer videos for you guys so let me know in the comments what are some other videos that you guys would really love to see from me and also what are your very favorite type of cleaning videos. Leave your favorites down below and I will be sure to add the most popular requests into my planner. So if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I really love having fresh flowers. Our local grocery store sells these little bouquets for about $5 and they will last me a couple weeks. So that's usually just where I get my flowers from. But I feel like having fresh flowers in our house just really brings a lot of life into the house. And I love the bright seasonal color that just adds a big pop into our kitchen. Let me know if you guys prefer fresh flowers or if you guys just like the artificial ones. You guys know that I use a lot of artificial plants throughout our house, just making it really easy and still being able to bring that brightness and color into the rooms. But there's just something about fresh flowers that can't be beat and it's one of my favorite things to have in our kitchen.
Once I had all the counters cleared off and the flowers put in their vase, I went ahead and started unloading the dishwasher. This is something that I usually have our two oldest boys and sometimes our little guy Noah go ahead and do in the morning. But on this day, I was just really rushed and it didn't end up happening. So I went ahead and just took care of this myself today. Okay, this is so funny to me, but I would so much rather put away clean dishes than load the dirty dishwasher. And it seems like everybody would probably agree with me on this one, but Kyle actually prefers to just load the dirty dishes. If he has the choice to load or unload the dishwasher, he will always choose to load up the dirty dishes. I don't really understand why that is, but let me know which side you are on. Would you rather wash the dirty dishes like Kyle likes or put away the clean dishes like I prefer? That's right. So to wash my dishes, I am just using my Bevel Up dish brush. This is one of my very favorite little kitchen gadgets. And I did want to let you guys know that Grove Collaborative is actually offering this Bevel Up dish brush for free along with a few other goodies with your first order from them. So if you have not ordered through them before, definitely check out the description box below and that will have a link where you can go ahead and get some free goodies. And you can also pick whatever kind of scent you want for your Mrs. Meyer set. I would have to recommend that you try the basil or the mint, which is just a seasonal one but both of those are so fresh and so amazing. They are some of my very top picks. Once I'm done cleaning my sink, I always like to add in a few drops of essential oils. My very favorite ones are grapefruit, lemon, and peppermint, but let me know if you guys have any favorites that you wanna share with me. And I also wanted to let you guys know about this little essential oil holder. I get a ton of questions about it anytime I show it in my videos, and it's actually just a business card holder that I got from the Dollar Tree. So check out your local Dollar Tree and grab one up. It only holds a few oils, but it's a really perfect size. Once the counters were all wiped off, I was just cleaning off our chairs. With young boys, I feel like I'm doing this constantly. And if you have been with me for a while, I have talked about painting these or restaining them. 
so many different times and I've gone back and forth. I feel like every time I ask you guys your opinions, you guys all have such amazing points, whether you're telling me to stain them or leave them or paint them. And for a while I decided to go ahead and just leave them, but now I'm almost thinking I might paint them. I don't know. I'm just so torn on it. I was looking at them the other day and they really are just pretty beat up. So if you guys had the choice between leaving them how they are and just putting a seat cover on them or going ahead and sanding them down and painting them, what would you do? Let me know in the comments because I really think I do need to do something with them and I am obviously just struggling with making this decision. Next I'm going to be cleaning out my microwave and also inside my oven. This is something that I usually try and do every week or so, and I usually will just use a multi-surface cleaner spray, but I actually have not cleaned it the last few weeks, and you can definitely tell, so I wanted to get a little bit more of an abrasive clean on there and get all of it looking and smelling really good. So for this, I am just using one of my favorite cleaning products, and that's the same one that I clean my sink out with, and it's just the Mrs. Meyers Baking Soda Cream Cleaner. I love this product because you can use it all over. You can use it in your oven, you can use it on your sink, on your stove pretty much anywhere that you need to kind of get a little bit more of an abrasive clean, but it's not so abrasive that it's going to scratch anything. So I feel like it's just safe on so many different surfaces. And you're not that someone who will find my heart and bring peace to my mind to move on. Oh, cause I will find the way on my own. Oh, I don't want to be running from you. So I know it doesn't look like it, but our house is actually about 13 years old. The people that we bought it from had purchased it and flipped it. So that's why it looks like it's pretty new, but it is about a decade and a half old. And in a lot of places, you can't tell that it's old at all. But I've definitely noticed that the appliances that they left here, like the stove and the oven and the microwave, were not really well maintained. The stove actually has a ton of scratches all over it. And the oven just seemed like it was something that was never clean. So there are some areas of the oven that I just have not been able to scrub off. If you guys have any really good tips for really baked on areas in your oven, let me know if you guys have some tips because I feel like I've tried so many things and I have not had any success with getting those areas cleaned off.
Next, I'm just going to be wiping down the outside of the appliances and I am just using my e-cloths, which I only use water for, and I just use the general purpose e-cloth to wipe it down and clean it. And then I use the glass and polishing cloth to dry it and polish it. And if you guys have not jumped on the e-cloth bandwagon, go ahead and do so. You will absolutely love them and you will be amazed at how clean it gets your stainless steel appliances. I do have a link down below that has several of my favorite items that I always talk about so you guys can definitely check that out if you're feeling a little overwhelmed of which cloths to get. That will be a really good starting point. Moving into the living room, I'm just tidying up a few of the toys. The boys were actually not home in this day, so while I normally would be having them clean up this mess, I just went ahead and got it tidied up myself. Let me know if you guys have your kids do chores at the house or if you just kind of have them generally help pick up or how you guys have that worked out at your house. I'll get over you. Once the living room is tidied up, I just moved on to cleaning our couch. I kind of have a love-hate relationship with our couch. I really love it for certain aspects and it's super comfortable, but it drives me nuts that the cushions don't come off. And also the material that it's covered in is really prone to watermarks. So anytime the kids have a water bottle on the couch or a cup of water or anything, and they spill even just a little bit, it will just leave so many watermarks and it ends up looking so trashed within like a week or two. So I usually do try and spot clean the couch every one or two weeks, but I think this time I had put it off for maybe like three weeks or so. I just somehow never got around to it and with company coming, I definitely had to make it a priority because it looked really bad as you guys could tell in the befores. So I've shared this in my videos in the past, but what I'm using here is actually just window cleaner. I'm using the method kind, but I think that you can use pretty much any window cleaner for this. And then just take whatever kind of cloth you have and give your couch a really good scrub, especially paying attention to where those watermarks are or where those spills are. You will be so amazed if you try this out. A lot of you guys have tried this out and told me that it saved your couch. You were thinking that you were going to have to be getting rid of it. There was nothing that was working for it. And this little trick just blew your guys' mind. This is something that I have been doing for years, ever since we got this couch, and it has been amazing.
the last thing that I needed to do was to go ahead and just vacuum our floors and mop them. So here I'm just using my Dyson vacuum and I usually get a lot of questions about this, like which one it is. And the one that I have is the Dyson V8 Absolute. I actually got this one because it has a really good battery life and it also had a ton of attachments that came with it. So for this vacuum, I am able to vacuum almost my entire house with it on one charge and I usually just use the regular power for our hard floors and then I will do the max power on our carpeting. And it's definitely one that I would really recommend if you guys are interested in checking that out. I do have it saved in my Amazon favorites if you guys just want to see the exact same vacuum that I get. If you do decide to get a Dyson, I would recommend checking out your local Costco because a lot of times they do have some really great sales on their Dysons. As long as I can be here with you, everything's alright. I also wanted to mention this mop that I'm using here is just my e-cloth spray mop. I always get questions about this mop and I usually hate mopping but I really haven't minded doing this one so much just because it is so incredibly easy to use and there's really not too much fuss with it. You just fill up the chamber with water and then you can go ahead and just spray and mop as you go. You don't have to deal with a big bucket, you don't have to deal with cords. It's just made mopping so much more simple for me. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this cleaning video and I hope this gave you some amazing cleaning motivation. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and also head on over to Instagram and follow me over there and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing another after dark clean with me. I have been getting more and more requests for these. I know these are some of your very favorite videos that I film for you guys. And it is, let's see, it is almost 10 o'clock. So I'm getting a bit of a late start, but it's okay. I actually enjoy cleaning at night. So we are going to go ahead and get to it in just a minute. But basically this night just got away from us. My parents are in town right now. My brother's actually heading into town. He's gonna be getting in very late, so I wanna make sure that the house is all picked up for them. We just enjoyed each other's company tonight. We just enjoyed visiting and chatting and hanging out together, and I just told everyone, look, I will go ahead and take care of everything once everyone goes to bed. So that is exactly what we are doing. And today is also an extra fun video because I have been talking with several of my girlfriends and just chatting about what are some fun ideas to actually make these clean with me's a little bit extra because a lot of us are a little extra and we like to do those little extra things. So I'm going to be sharing something extra special at the end of this clean with me. So stay tuned so that you don't miss out on that. This is just something fun that we wanted to go ahead and start sharing in some of our clean with me's. So let me know in the comments if this is something that you enjoyed. And also if you are a creator, 
go ahead and do the same kind of thing. Do an extra special clean with me and share something extra special at the end of your videos. I would love to see them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. I've been pushing away everybody I love. I don't know what to do. Need a sign from above. I just want to be somebody who knows Who knows how to behave But I'm not even close so once I had closed all of our windows and blinds, I decided to start in the living room and just tidy that room up. I usually do tend to start in our kitchen, but on this night I just decided to go ahead into our living room. And the reason I did that is just because there wasn't really a whole ton to do in here. I know it looks a bit messy, but mostly it was just a few toys on the ground and then a few extra blankets and sleeping bags. So I figured that I could just take a few extra minutes in the beginning and knock this whole room out first. The bad things I've done And the people I've hurt Wanna take that part of me And leave it in the dirt Won't you save, 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 save me Won't you save, 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 save me once the living room was all picked up, I moved into our kitchen and the first thing that I always do in our kitchen is just clear off our counters. We did have a lot of things on our counters tonight. As I had said earlier, I really didn't focus on cleaning up while everyone was just hanging out and visiting. So I was still having to pick up dinner and put away some dishes and clean out everything in the sink on this night. Darkness for far too long now. Wanna tear down the curtains. Let the sun shine in. And I did want to share something with you guys because I still had all these items still left out on the counter. So this is just how I make our homemade taco seasoning. It tastes so, so yummy. So you can go ahead and just screenshot this if you like. And another little tip when you make tacos is if you add salsa into your taco meat, it will make such a big difference. That is like my little secret that I always add into our tacos and everyone always loves them. So if you haven't done that in the past, go ahead and try that out next time you make tacos. It will make such a difference. What you think about me? Next, I just started putting all of our dishes away. A lot of them were on the counter because they were hand washed. And as I've told you guys before, my mom actually hand washes a lot of her dishes. I'm usually pretty opposite, and most of the time, I will end up putting all of my dishes in the dishwasher. But while my mom is here, she has been hand washing a lot of the dishes. So I just needed to go ahead and get all the ones that were dried on the counter put away. Don't you know I tried the best I could. I don't know how. I also wanted to let you guys know of a very special offer that Grove Collaborative has going on right now. I have not seen this offer before and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. If you follow my channel for a long time, you know that I have raved about the sea salt neroli from Caldrea. It is hands down my all time favorite scent and they are actually offering this to new customers. So if you have not ordered from Grove Collaborative, I definitely would urge you to try this one out. So I will leave the link to this offer down in the description box. Yeah, we've been through this. I'm not the one you need right now. And I can't stop time for you. I don't know why we couldn't work this out. Because you know I tried the best I could. The 
the best I could. I can't stop time for you. I can't stop time for you. I don't want to be with somebody who's never going to be around for me. Around for me. I'm running out of energy. I realize you'll never be the one for me. I can't stop time for you. Next, I needed to hand wash my pots and pans and my knives. Making sure that my dishes are clean and my sink is empty at night is one of my top things that I absolutely have to do every night. It drives me nuts in the morning if I have to wake up and I have a bunch of dishes to do. I feel like you just wake up kind of behind the game. So this is something that I almost always will take care of every night. Once in a while, I will not get around to it, but I would say about 95% of the time, I won't go to sleep until my sink is clean and my dishes are cleaned as well. So Three. I can't stop time for you. 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 Won't you get on my way? Get on my way. I don't need this right now. I don't need this right now. I get a lot of questions about what I always scrub my sink out with and I'm just using a walnut scrubber from Grove Collaborative. These come in a pack of three and then I go ahead and just cut them in half and they seem like they are the perfect size once I do that plus I get a little bit extra use out of them and they just work really amazing to get your sink cleaned out. And most of the time I do just clean my sink out with dish soap. If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what A good time looks like You can do better So much better Once all of my countertops were cleared off, I just wanted to wipe everything down. So tonight I'm just using the Caldre Sea Salt Neroli Scent All Purpose Spray. Like I told you guys, this is my very favorite one. And like I said, this is one of the items that comes in that offer from Grove Collaborative. You can also get some different scents from them, but this is the one that I have just been obsessed with. I believe I've tried the Pear Blossom Agave, and I've also tried another one. I want to say it's the Tangelo Palm Frond. I'm not sure if I'm saying that one correctly, but I tried those ones and they were all right, but they were nothing compared to the sea salt neroli. I've had a lot of you guys tell me that I need to try out the rosewater driftwood and that will definitely be in one of my next orders because I've been told so many times to try it out. But if you guys ever have a favorite scent from Caldrea or Method or Mrs. Myers, be sure to leave them in the comments because I'm always looking for another fun scent. I feel like when you find a nice cleaner that you like and you really enjoy the scent, it just makes cleaning that much more enjoyable. And anytime that you can take a mundane task like cleaning that you have to do all the time and make it a little bit more enjoyable, it is definitely a win. Dancing on a wall 
Once I got everything wiped down in the kitchen, I moved back into the living room and I just wanted to do a quick dusting. This was just a dry dust. This isn't something that I do every single night, but I just noticed that it was looking a bit dusty in here. So I wanted to just take a few minutes to go ahead and take care of that. And every time I bring this duster out, I get so many questions from you guys about what it is and where it's from. And I did get this one from Grove Collaborative. I believe it's the Full Circle brand, but I also have this one saved in my Amazon favorites. So if you want to order it on Amazon, I know that you can get it on there. And then I also know that you can get it from Grove Collaborative. But if you have seen it somewhere else, definitely leave a comment below letting me know. Okay, so I wanted to add this part into this cleaning video because this is seriously how I get 90% of things up our stairs, whether it's clothes or something soft like sleeping bags like this or a small little toy, anything that won't damage the wall if I accidentally hit the wall. But as you can see, I'm really, really bad with my aim. Kyle always gives me a hard time about it because it will seriously take me like three or four or five tries to get it up the stairs. You would think with how often I toss things up the stairs, I would be really good at it, but it is definitely not one of my strong suits. But maybe one day I will finally master this technique. The last thing that I like to take care of every night is my floors. I will usually try and vacuum, but on this night I was getting around to this a little bit late because like I said, we were just up late visiting with family. And if I end up getting around to this earlier on in the night, I will usually use my Dyson vacuum. But because it was so late, I didn't want to risk waking anyone up, especially because we did have visitors. So I just went ahead and swept on this night. And in a second, you guys will see our central vacuum system. This actually has a little suction thing in our wall and it sucks everything out into a canister in our garage. This is something that I never even knew about until we moved into this house. And I really, really love how convenient it is. So once I was done cleaning on this night, I decided to go ahead and do something a little extra special for my family, just to let them know how loved they are and how special they are to me. I feel like little things like this don't have to be really complicated and they don't have to take a lot of money. So these little cards I got are just ones that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. And then I also picked up individual candy boxes that are each of their favorites. And then inside each of their cards, I am just going to be writing little personalized notes to them and I'm going to set them out on the counter. And then that way when they wake up in the morning, they will be able to read their notes that I wrote to them, get their little box of candy and just know that I was thinking about them and just know how much I appreciate them. Make me feel right. Wanna look at you all night. Wanna put you in that spotlight. Oh, you know. Mm. Till my lungs give out 
what you're beautiful My goal when sharing a video like this is to leave you guys feeling motivated to complete the daily tasks that we have to do every single day. So if you are feeling more motivated and more inspired than when you clicked on this video, please let me know in the comments and give this video a thumbs up. I love this community that we have created together and I want this to be a safe space, a space where we can come together as women and motivate and uplift each other and inspire one another. I know that we have so many daily tasks that feel so mundane and so repetitive and it's hard to feel motivated and inspired to do those things but sometimes if you can find something a little bit extra to do it will help you feel more motivated to do those things and it will just show your family how much you appreciate them and I think that really goes a long way. So once I finished everything, it was actually 11-11, which I kind of thought was perfect. Growing up, I know my mom always said 11-11, all is well, and so that's always stuck with me. So every time I see 11-11 on our clock, I just smile. So I did have to include that in this video. I am so thankful for you guys, and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already, and also head on over to Instagram and follow me over there, and I will see you in my next one. Convince me it's true And that is why you want me like you do But you didn't even have to try Cause you can start a fire without a spark Forget what I told you Forget all about that tonight just remember the flame, you remember the flame, all right. Forget what I told you, forget all about that tonight. Just remember the flame, you remember the flame. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing a complete disaster clean with me. These are always some of your guys' favorite cleaning videos because they give you some serious cleaning motivation. Now I want to say that I don't even know how our house got this bad, but I honestly know exactly how this happened and how it got this messy. I don't know if it's like this for you guys, but in the summertime, I really struggle maintaining my cleaning routines. I feel like it's just so chaotic with having the kids all home all the time and just not having that structure of school and everything and I feel like my routines just kind of fall to the wayside so that is definitely a struggle and on top of that this past week has just been the perfect storm because while my routines are kind of falling to the wayside and struggling a bit, we are also preparing to go to Montana for a vacation just to visit our family up there. And so because of that, I have been working double time trying to film for you guys and trying to edit so that I have content to share while we are gone and I don't have to work a whole ton while I'm up there. But with me having to work so much extra this week, it's really taken a toll on our house. And now I just need to take our house back and get it feeling clean and feeling fresh again. So instead of me just doing this on my own, I definitely wanted to give you guys some extra cleaning motivation today so get ready to watch this messy house transformation and we are going to be getting it looking amazing by the end of this video so I know that this video is going to give you some extreme cleaning motivation and I also left it really long so that you guys could go ahead and clean along with me i
So usually I like to start out in our main living area, especially in our kitchen. That is definitely my domino chore, the chore that really motivates me to continue on working. However, the boys just got a new pop-up tent and they were wanting to kind of play with that. And I told them they first had to clean up their playroom if that's what they wanted to do. So we are all starting out in the playroom and just cleaning up this area. And then we'll move on to their bedroom and then I will head on downstairs. This girl caught my eye, said, how do you do? She said, I am not interested. Thank you. Then she left the room. Bartender. I'll have the usual. Give me the usual. I'll take the usual. Moving into the boys room, this room actually wasn't too messy just because they don't have toys in here so they really just kind of sleep in here and change clothes and everything. And in the morning I had already had them make their beds, they do that every single day and so they just needed to go ahead and clean up their clothes that they left laying on the floor and then bring their dirty laundry down to the laundry room so that we could get that washed a little bit later. So this is their new pop-up tent and it has been such a fun thing. We used to have one before and it ended up getting ripped after having it for years and years. But the boys have been loving having this new one. They've been having campouts in it almost every single night. And it's honestly just such a fun and easy way to keep them entertained during the summer. So if you have not checked out these pop-up tents, I would definitely recommend checking them out. You can usually pick them up for pretty inexpensive, but they just offer so much fun and they are so easy to pop up and put away. Next I'm moving into the kitchen and the kitchen is like I said, my domino chore. And what I mean by that is it's just the chore that really motivates me to continue on cleaning. I feel like once you see certain areas of your house clean, it just motivates you to keep on going. And I also feel like, especially in our home, the kitchen is definitely the heart of the home. And you can pretty much see the kitchen no matter what area of our house you're in. So this is for sure my favorite room in the house to clean and the one that I feel is most beneficial to have clean. But I will say that at the same time, the kitchen is the first room in the house to get dirty. And I feel like that's just because we use it all the time. Let me know in the comments if there's a certain area or a certain room that you feel is the first thing to always get dirty at your house. And I 
So once I got everything cleared off our counters and our dishwasher loaded up, I just went ahead and cleaned out some of the pots and pans and then I'm going to end up soaking those. I'm actually going to be making lunch for the boys so I know that I'm going to be having more dishes. And so for that reason, I'm not going to end up cleaning these dishes right now, but instead I'm just going to be soaking them because I was not good last night and I didn't do my nighttime cleaning routine. Like I said earlier, sometimes my routines kind of struggle in the summertime and that's why our kitchen was looking so disastrous already in the middle of the day. So if I can leave you guys with one tip to take away from this video or any of my cleaning videos is work on creating a routine that works for you and try your absolute hardest to stick to it. I really feel like routines are such a crucial way to keep your house clean without it feeling like you're cleaning all the time and without feeling overwhelmed. So I wanted to take just a second and say the boys and I have been done eating for probably like 15 or 20 minutes if I'm being honest and I have just been sitting here with no motivation. I'm just like trying to rack my brain and try and figure out like how I can not have to clean the rest of the house because honestly it's just gotten to a point where like My room and bathroom is messed up. I have a ton of laundry to do. I have to finish doing the kitchen, all of the floors. I just want to just take a nap or something. Like just not work right now. But I know that if I don't, I will regret it. And I know that Kyle will be getting home in the next like hour, two hours. And so I really want to work hard to get this place looking nice so that we can enjoy the rest of our time together and I can be outside playing with the kids and everything. So I just wanted to say, here's some realness. I am not always 100% motivated. And so during those times, I really need to find some extra motivation. And so right now I am just thinking to myself, why am I going to clean my house? And my mom told me this the other day and she said, think of one word to why you're going to do something and focus on that word when you're doing something that you don't want to do. So for example, right now, I am going to think of the word peace. And the reason that I'm gonna think about that is because I know that once our house is clean, it will feel so peaceful and we will be able to enjoy our time as a family in peace and just living in a clean house and so that is the word that i'm going to be thinking of as my motivator to keep cleaning so my word is peace if you are struggling with cleaning or whatever mundane task you are trying to do today think of a word of what your outcome is going to be and how you're going to feel once that thing is done and focus on that word instead of the task so i'm thinking of peace and we are going to get back to it Sun is coming up. All right, so getting back into cleaning once lunch was all done, I just started off by clearing off everyone's plates and then putting away our leftovers. Let me know if you guys do leftovers in your house. I've had a few friends where they do not do any leftovers at all, and our house is definitely a leftover house. We use them all the time for lunches. It's such an easy way to have lunch is just by pulling out our old leftovers, and a lot of times I end up packing up our leftovers for Kyle, and he just is able to take those to work as well. And then while those are soaking, I'm just going to start wiping off the counter from after lunch. And what you're seeing me do here is just fill up my multi-surface spray with my multi-surface concentrate. This is a really affordable way to be able to use those natural cleaners without having to pay that higher price of them. 
This big bottle of the concentrate costs around $8, I believe, and it will last you for months. It is amazing. All you do is just put a small amount into your bottle and then you just fill the rest up with water. And it's just what it sounds like. It's just basically the same thing that you normally would get in the bottle, except you use your own bottle or you recycle and use an old bottle that you used to have. And it is just a concentrated version of it. So once you fill it up with water, you are getting the same exact product, but at a fraction of the price. So I do get all of my cleaners from Grove Collaborative. If if you guys are interested in checking them out, I do have a link down below as well for them and that will give you some free goodies with your first order. I love Grove Collaborative. I think it's so convenient because they're able to be delivered right to your door. And honestly, anything that keeps me out of Target is going to save me a lot of time and a lot of money. So as much as it pains me to say it, anything that keeps me out of Target is a win. Once I got all of our counters wiped off, I just went ahead and started tackling these dishes. Now this is probably one of our first times since having the single basin sink put in that I actually didn't find that it helped me out. Usually I love having the single basin sink. I think it's so much easier to wash dishes and keep pots and pans in there. And honestly, it's so deep that I'm kind of able to hide a little bit of extra dishes in there if we have guests over something and it doesn't really look like we have a ton of dishes in there because it is so deep and it's just a nice big open sink area. But in this particular case, because I was hand washing so many dishes, it was kind of hard to just have to hand wash them and then immediately rinse them with running water instead of having one side to wash and one side to rinse but like I said normally I do love the benefits of having a single basin sink because I usually don't do a whole lot of hand washing and I usually let the dishwasher do most of the work for me but let me know in the comments if you could choose would you choose to have a single basin sink like I have here or a double basin sink where you have two sides
Once all the dishes were done, I just started scrubbing down my sink. I will usually clean my sink once a day, sometimes twice a day, depending if I have dishes just sitting in here. But I feel like having a clean sink makes your whole kitchen seem a lot cleaner. It's just the little things and the details like that that just end up making such a big difference. And I also don't know what it is, but there's something about this chore that is just so incredibly satisfying to me. And it's always my favorite part to edit and my favorite part to watch of these cleaning videos. There is just something so incredibly satisfying about a clean sink. Moving into the living room, I just started tidying everything up. There honestly wasn't too many toys down here because I had had the boys bring those upstairs earlier. So it was mostly just picking up a few of their Hot Wheels items and then just putting the throw blankets and the throw pillows back onto the couch. I do not know when my kids are gonna grow out of leaving all the throw pillows on the floor. I'm hoping it's not too far into the future because it kind of drives me nuts every single day, but I just love throw pillows. So I'm going to keep having them, but uh, it definitely drives me nuts. You find a loophole I've been slamming the door and just leave you cold When I come back you feed it up the south Once I had everything picked up off the floors, I started vacuuming. Now, if you guys saw my video a few months ago when I was doing some spring cleaning, I actually tipped this rug upside down and the rug was filled with sand and dirt and so much stuff in it. And it's honestly just kind of made me not love this rug as much as I used to. So I've been kind of on the hunt for a new rug, one that is not a shag rug like we have right now. So if you guys have any recommendations on where I can find a really good quality rug for a decent price and one that doesn't trap as much dirt, please leave them in the comments. I would love to hear your guys' ideas. And also if you saw my home tour recently, we are in the market for a new couch just because we need something with a little bit more seating. So if you guys have any recommendations on where to get furniture, something that is again affordable, but also good quality that will last us a while and something that has a bit more seating, let me know any recommendations you have for that as well. And I really do appreciate when you guys do let me know those things because they have helped me out so much whenever I ask you guys. My
Who gives my life color? There is no one other With your hand in mine Let me go by your side Let me go by your side Once the rest of the house was clean, I moved into our bedroom and started stripping the bed sheets. This is something I like to do every single week. I also wanted to mention these sheets have been amazing. I've gotten a lot of questions on the days that I don't strip the bedding and the days that I just make our bed up. And the question that I get a lot is why I don't end up adjusting our fitted sheets and don't they get pulled down on the bed and really slouchy? And these are some that I got from Target. I'm gonna see if I can link them below, but these ones have been so amazing. I end up not having to adjust the sheets at all during the week. I think it's because they have really deep pockets and they also have a secondary tight band around the corners that kind of holds them in place better. I can't remember the brand offhand right now, but I will check it out and see if I can link them for you guys because they are seriously like the most amazing cotton sheets and I love that I don't have to adjust them constantly. It's really just the little things in life. Without you, there is no tomorrow. Next, I just moved into our laundry room to go ahead and swap out the loads of laundry. I feel like during the school year, I do so much better about staying on top of our laundry. And then, like I've said a few times in this video, during the summer, it's just such a struggle. I don't know what it is about the summer, but I don't know. I just struggle, you guys. I hope that I'm not the only one who struggles keeping a schedule and a routine during the summer. But while I was in the laundry room, I just swapped things out of our washer and dryer and then went ahead and washed our sheets. And when you're feeling low, I know you bounce back oh, and just remember, I will be there for you, baby Remember, there's nothing out there to get you Don't forget it, when life throws lemons Just call on me
I seriously need to figure out why all of a sudden our dressers have become such a big catch-all. I feel like they have been so cluttered lately and I don't know why. I don't think this is something that we used to deal with so often, but just like the last few months especially, they have just become the biggest catch-all and they are constantly looking cluttered. If you guys have any tips on ways to kind of avoid that, let me know in the comments because it's been something I've been trying to work on, but something that I've definitely been struggling with. So if I figure anything out, I will for sure let you guys know. And if you have any tips on it, be sure to let me know. Forgiving me and I just want you to know I didn't mean it Baby, I just wanna be with you I should be with you So I've gotten questions in the past on why we keep our cat food in our closet and the reason for that is because we feed our cats in the bathroom because otherwise our dog Emma will just eat their food right up the second we put it down. She definitely seems to prefer cat food over her dog food for some reason. And so for that reason, we end up feeding them in our bathroom. But Noah has been getting into the bad habit of feeding them for us without supervision. And so he will come in our bathroom and just feed them and feed them. And then I come in and I have this huge mess that I have to clean up. So that's something that I'm trying to work on with him. but. That's why we had all this cat food laying all over the floor is because Noah was trying to help out and feed the cats for me. Cause I messed it up and there you go. Once the counters were all cleared off and wiped off, I just started cleaning our mirrors and I'm just using my e-cloths to clean our mirrors. So I'm just using the general purpose cloth and I just get that wet with water and wipe everything down. And then I dry the mirrors off and polish it with our glass and polishing cloth. The very last thing that I needed to do was just to go ahead and vacuum the floors in our bedroom. And then once that was done, our messy house transformation was complete. And let me tell you guys, it felt so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this gave you all the cleaning motivation you needed today plus a little extra. I made it a little long for you guys to go ahead and get all the cleaning motivation that you could possibly need. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and I will see you in my next one. Just a